Nano Nuclear Energy is launching a recruitment initiative for its engineering and project development team to support the construction and licensing efforts of its Kronos MMR energy system reactors in the U.S. and Canada. The company aims to extend its expertise and personnel to complete the construction permit application and begin building the first Kronos prototype on the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign campus shortly thereafter. The Kronos MMR energy system aims to revolutionize nuclear energy by offering modular construction in a container, high safety margins for inherent safety, rapid and flexible deployment suitable for remote and secure applications, and seamless integration with local renewable grids and process heat systems. It is said to combine state-of-the-art technology solutions without relying on new breakthroughs or costly research programs. So far, NNE signed an agreement with the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign to construct the first research Kronos Micromodular Reactor, MMR, on the university's campus. The partnership will cover licensing, siting, public engagement, and research operation of the Kronos MMR. Nanonuclear will start geological characterization and subsurface investigations to prepare a construction permit application, CPA, for the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, NRC. This work aims to understand the site's environmental parameters and support Nanonuclear's Preliminary Safety Analysis Report, PSAR, and Environmental Report, ER, ensuring facility reliability and safety. CEO James Walker emphasized that this step signifies their progress in moving beyond conceptualization towards actual construction of the Kronos MMR. Overall, the partnership aims to work together throughout the regulatory licensing process, plant design implementation, public and stakeholder engagement, and workforce development. U of I will lead regulatory and public engagement while nanonuclear oversees plant design, construction, system integration, and commercial pathway development. This collaboration could enable a new paradigm of nuclear power through education, research, and demonstration at scale. CEO James Walker has called for the best talent in nuclear and energy innovation in the Midwest region to join the team as they prepare to break ground on the Kronos reactor prototype. Top talent being recruited for the MMR project includes nuclear engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, civil engineers, project managers, QA and QC professionals, licensing and regulatory affairs experts, and skilled technicians. Particularly applicants with experience in nuclear R&D, DOE national labs, SMR or MMR programs, or international reactor development. The company aims to build a team that will not only develop its U.S. research reactor, but also lay the foundation for demonstration reactor deployment in Canada, leading to eventual commercial rollout in both countries. In addition to its plans for constructing a research reactor at UIUC, Nanonuclear is also preparing to construct a Kronos demonstration reactor in Canada, which will go through the licensing process under Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission, CNSC, oversight. This effort will establish a second fully licensed Kronos unit and position Nanonuclear to efficiently move its microreactor technology through construction, demonstration, regulatory licensing, and eventual commercialization across North America. The end goal is to expand its team to have the capacity to deliver simultaneous full-scale projects in two countries with independent regulatory pathways and future market potential. NNE is also sponsoring the Innovation Zero World Congress 2025. The event will be held on April 29th and 30th at Olympia London in the UK. Nano Nuclear CEO James Walker will deliver a presentation on finding opportunities in the resurgent nuclear energy industry and participate in a panel discussion titled Fixing Fission, Green Taxonomies, and Red Tape in Nuclear. The Congress, supported by the UK government, aims to promote collaboration towards global emissions reduction and is expected to have approximately 10,000 attendees for networking, investment exploration, and knowledge sharing. At the conference, there are plans to share their recent progress and upcoming plans with stakeholders and clean tech industry leaders. The company's UK-based technical team, responsible for advancing their Odin microreactor technology, will also be in attendance. CEO James Walker views this event as a key part of their global growth conference schedule and looks forward to an insightful and productive gathering. For more on nanonuclear and other companies, follow us Sencor. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.